Hi, welcome to my Arch Labs 5.0. So R2D2 has just been launched. I've just made an extra update for the Sardi and the Surf icons, and I was about to test the Solus download. So there is, um, well, I've been I visited Solus a while ago, so I wanted to see if Salus, Solus has improved or if the Sardi icons or the Surf icons are still okay and so on. So we have now three choices here, as you can see, the GNOME and the MATE, but I'm going to choose for the Budgie, the first one. And I have downloaded it already. And in that effect, um, I made an another tutorial because I wanted to load up Solus and we got this error. So it meant that my BIOS was not yet um, activated to use the Intel virtualization. So I made a tutorial about that. And finally, finally, it can boot up in Solus and see how it looks. So we don't need this. Double click it and wait. Okay, connection is established. That's fine. I don't want to see it again. So it's a bit small. Let's see if we can try to make this work with view virtual screen. It's all grayed out, so that will be a problem. We can go to full screen mode, but that will not help us. So I guess we're stuck at this level. My guess. Anyway, uh, let's install it, see if it's possible to read anything. Install so does the disk, United States, it's just fine. Why not try to find it? We're in virtual box. Yeah, great. That's indeed Belgian, that's Brussels, and you can the best advice for any of you. I always read people asking, I'm gonna put this in a boot and that in a UFI and that this and all kind of partitions. Just follow the general uh, layout that people supply you, please. It will save you gray hair and a lot of frustration. So I'll just do this. It's called Solace, indeed. And my name is Eric. Oops. Indeed, um, you have to have uh, quite some, um, well, a longer password than I used to take. So I'm taking a longer password now we'll use a password to log into the computer blah, 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 blah. don't think we need anything more no that's good and we install it and we say okay so there we go we're off let it install in the meantime let's look around so this is the budgie desktop um, you have here the icon sets from was it again? Let's take a look. Can we go in here like that? Maybe. Because there's another way to, to access system settings. And there's the Raven panel that's down here. And here you have also kind of things you can get to or as well here. That's going to the menu. It's going to take some CPU to load. Yep, there it is. Okay, so these icons are there for your advantage, but we should take this one. So the icon theme is called Arc, but that's actually a little bit fake. Why am I saying this? Because the files are Mocha or something like that, and the folders are from Arc. So see if I can figure it out. User, share, icons. Let's see. So we have installed the Faba icons. Here as well the Faba and the Arc. But Arc doesn't have a much applications. I guess 64 or 48. So it's just a few applications. You know there are thousands of applications, 3000 applications. So the bulk of your icons are either here or there or there even. So I, my guess it's going to be here or this one or the other one. So only 50. So it should be somewhere else. 
Anyway, um, it's a combination, a mixture between arc icons and the Fava icons. So this one, let's see if we can open it with something. So it's going to the Mocha icons. All what's not available, what Arc does not provide, is coming from the Mocha. It's as simple as that. Okay, uh, how about the installation? Where is my... Okay, you may now exit, restart now. Let's see what he's going to do. I have still my ISO inside, so I guess really very important to cut them up over there, press a key to reply, let's shut it down and let's open it up and tell him that it's gone, you don't have anything anymore. Now probably everything will be just fine. We are booting from the hard disk, let's hope ah, it doesn't get any better I think. Let's keep trying to get our resolution better. Hmm. Okay. What can we do to fix this? That is a very good question. And I don't have an answer right now. Let's try it from inside the system. Who knows? It doesn't know the display, but we can't choose the display. Can't make it any bigger. That's too bad. Uh, no. Screen. Display. We're back in the same application as we were. Night light. That's a good idea. Wasn't there before. So a little bit stuck in the way how it looks. It's very small. It's uh, too small. So the question is can we make it any bigger or not? That's our question. Let's see if I start from full screen already. Nah, it doesn't know it yet. Uh, the question is, do we need to do we need to install something for VirtualBox maybe to make it understand that it's on VirtualBox? That's a possibility. Terminal, terminal, term, term, terminal. No right mouse click, but when we are up here, we can. Pin it to the panel, we're gonna use it later on, I suppose. Maybe a software update can do the trick. Where is my update now? It's gone. Update. Let's try again. Okay. What's in here? Lots of updates. Let's do this one. Ah, just that one. It's not going to help us in a virtual box attempt here. Uh, installation of Solus. What was it again? The package to install anything. sudo eo something package and then I don't recall minus it or something like that. I think it was installed. Uh -huh. Help. And then we're going to look for IT install. Okay. Was it with this thing or just like so? Do they have anything for VirtualBox? Virt, Virt, Virt Manager. No, not really, I guess. So, okay. We'll have to continue like this. The only thing I wanted to check is go to Sardi icons and see if it's uh, still okay. Now, I do believe that these guys have also a package in there. 
I wonder at what version they are since I've just installed mine. Where is the search? The problem here is that they try to cut everything into pieces, which is which might be dangerous. I don't know how they do it. And frankly, I don't care. The proper thing to do is, is to get the bunch, everything from the internet. And that's coming from SourceForge. Okay, so here we have the last one I've just created. I'm gonna download that one, unpack it, and put it in our system. New no things. It's downloaded, right? Extract it. Uh, not here. Uh -huh, here it is. Extract here. So this is Control A, Control C. Going to the home, Control H. Icons does not exist. Dot icons with a small i. Yeah, okay. And then going inside, copy paste. Oh yeah, and then there was this problem with this system. Let's see if that's fixed. The icon theme that's inside your personal folder is never actually read. As you can see, it's not in here. Just copy the, it there. Uh, it might depend. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we log out. Is if that's possible to log out somewhere? then maybe then the raven panel reads it again does the raven panel find the new icons we've just put there yeah bingo so okay well fine that's that's okay as long as it works i'm gonna take a color that's um that's all blue there's an an idea if i mean there's an and the reason for that, I'm gonna scroll over and anything that's not blue, I should do some work for Solus. So everything looks good until now. We go to files, we go to other locations, to computer, to the user share, and then to the applications, this one, open up and scroll again. Everything is blue, but then again, not a lot of, uh, has been installed in the software center. You can install lots of things. And third party icons do look good. So that's covered. So I guess no more I, uh, third party elements were introduced since I last checked. And I do recognize all these names. So I suppose that's it. That's uh, no new extra third parties. And this, of course, this, this is something else. This is uh, not important. We only see the things that, of course, you are going to install. Stuff like that. All these minor things. I've never um, made effort to do this. We should, because, well, it's, it's difficult. It's, I mean, we should know what names these things are, and then we could do it, but um, that would be too difficult. So just like this, everything looks now nice, out of the box. So if the slightly flexible is gonna work, then the same thing will happen with all the rest. So we have Saturday Mono. Let's take Saturday Mono Arch Labs, like so. This means that we have everything, everything like so in a mono color. And if we go to the home, we'll have these folders control H you can make it bigger we can make it smaller and we have our system working as it should last thing um, there is also another icon theme I have to check not this one no I don't want to download again stop and then let's get to control a git hub one and then surfing icons Surfing icons just just uploaded something so it should be up there 
So I think about 10 icons created. Download zip, save files, do this automatically. Yes, please. And then go to here, right mouse click, extract to noops, noops, not extract to cancel. Just extract here, much easier. And then get everything except these things. We don't need these things. Those are not icons. Control A, Control C, Control H. Back into the icons here. Control Find. Pop, 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 pop. Remember, the Raven is not. Um, it's, it cannot read it, so we need to log off and log out and log on in order for the Raven to update the contents of the dots. Icons. Don't want to see it. Ah. Okay, I think it's gone. And now the surfing icons. Surf from Arc. Arc is a beautiful uh, from Horse 3180. Beautiful for one. Control H. So we have now other icons. Other icons that are looking like this, more colored. So the Sally is more rigid, all circular, and this can be whatever I want it to be. Uh, colorful anyway, and gonna be everything you wanna be. I wanna have, I mean. Any color is good. Share. And then let's take a look at our applications. So these are the applications in standard installation after Solus. It didn't, didn't uh, did not install anything at all. So everything looks good. No icons that look out of place. So that's great. And we've checked our Solus. Too bad that it's too so small. I can't show it bigger to you guys, but Okay, we've done our check and it does uh, feel um, a bit, well, normal and the same when I go over it since a few months ago. And the settings, there was something new, I thought, I said, oh, that's new. So, okay, notifications, online accounts, some privacy. Uh huh. The Bluetooth. I remember that Bluetooth was a problem with my uh, Bluetooth sets from Bose or Bose. I don't know how you say it. Anyway, I hope that's fixed. And then color displays keyboard mouse touch and drag. Mm hmm. It's all quite straightforward. If you see the screens are very um, clean, simple, not too technical. Almost empty sometimes. Better like that than to be too complex for users. All right, um, what's new in here? Mm -hmm. Nothing new here, I guess, nothing new here. But there was something new around here. It's good that I take the breeze cursor. I love this cursor. I always change the fonts, but I do not mind this time. It's okay. Panel. Like I said, this is the Raven sidebar. This is when you see it. Were some applets last time that were extra places is extra was extra yes, uh, workspace switch i don't know that was there last time uh, 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 uh. by the way if you can sometimes if you click on here depending where oh yeah so if you click on here you can go inside that as well and tell them okay guys you are now on souls and the word will appear up there if you say of course i want to have a menu label and so on so it's sometimes it's hidden very highly it's hidden with this icon if you move some over here sometimes you see sometimes the icon gets uh, white and then you can do some stuff with it 
All right, done for me. I've seen uh, solos again and the Sardi and the Surf and Icons are good. So I'm off. Cheerio.